Yo, what's up my people, Nova Fourth Prince, bringing you gameplay and commentary on Hotel. What I want to chat about today is uh, Arctic brought out a video, I think it's probably last week now, um, just talking about uh, freefall mode, which I found just the whole, everything he said, I shall leave a link in the description to the actual commentary, so uh, yeah man, after the video go give it a look around, because definitely uh, um, it 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 just sold me even more than I'm sold on Gears of War Judgment at the moment. I think at one stage a couple of months ago I was like, nah, Judgment don't sound like it's going to be that good. And just after, but the last like couple of months I've just been so stoked for Judgment. Uh, with just everything, obviously you can't tag nades. I think you can tag a spot grenade, which is basically a thing. You tag it on a wall and it will for that area basically it will let you know who's around and who's about so that sounds really cool with that I don't know if that's something on your loadout your change or or what so instead of having your normal frag grenades if you will have a spot grenade or something like that obviously there's a revived grenade as well which sounds awesome so you can drop that at yourself and kind of bring yourself back to health quicker if you're like half dead so that sounds just brilliant um, he talked about the weapons he said about uh, he said about all the weapons really he did go through them obviously he couldn't talk in great detail about the weapons because we're still six months out so everything can change and um, I think he's not allowed to speak about certain things anyway just because of um, of leaking information that Epic Games wouldn't want leaked so I know they all signed waivers or affidavits I don't know what affidavit is but I know they all signed things I think it was nine people what went I know Skyless, Arctic, Brittany, Brutality, uh, Ocelot went I think I think Gold Glove went as well so there was a lot of people there I'm not sure about the other people but uh, Arctic also said about spotting. So he said spotting, even in free fall mode, is really important because people are going to uh, be jumping off ledges and jumping down and stuff. I'm quite good at spotting anyway. I'm better at spotting than I'm killing people. But uh, yeah, so so yeah. But I think I'm um, spotting. So that's going to be important. Obviously, as we know before, and some of these things I'm going to be going over or or would have gone over in the past. So like no active reloads on anything, as far as I'm aware. The, the Lancer, it's just going to be if you reload quick, you reload quick, which is how I think it should be. You know, no one likes coming around the corner and someone's got the upper hand on them just because they've got the active. And and yeah, so I'm happy that no active re active reload is gone, really, where you get that extra power boost of, of crazy bullets coming out. Um, also, that uh, power weapons are, uh, I mean, it didn't really go much into power weapons. He talks about the breach dot shot a little bit and he wasn't sure if there's much point to having a breach shot and a long shot. I guess time will tell. I kind of felt that as well. I think that breach shot is going to be the montages absolute dream. So I am really looking forward to the breach shot and I'm quite happy that the long shot's there as well. So we just have to see how powerful both weapons are or just all the weapons in the game. He also um he also spoke a lot about the the smoke grenade still stuns you so you're still going to get a stun off that which uh we'll have to just see how it works but I think you can move around a lot better when you're stunned so we'll have to see how that goes with the smoke grenade I suppose um if someone's chucking a smoke at you stuns you and then comes in and takes you out then I suppose you're doomed either way when you're stunned as we all know on this game um obviously as well we spoke about the ink grenade which hasn't got a stun on it which I really like because you know when that ink grenade comes from close to you I spoke about it in the past but the ink grenade comes from close to you and it just kind of it's not that close and you get stunned and you're not even in the ink and then someone comes up and bodies you that's going to be gone that's not going to be a problem but he did say that the inks are awesome he did say the inks are really good and if someone does throw an ink and you're in the way of that you want to either get out of it or steer clear of that inked area because it sounds like it will take you down which is fair that's what ink should be I don't think there's much change on incendiary incendiary grenades fire grenades I don't think there's much change on them he said they just seem the same since patch so which is cool I kind of like this incense now more than earlier in the game in Gears 3 anyway but it's so in, that they're the same in judgment I haven't got a problem with that that's quite cool uh, he also said obviously about this weapon change where you change your weapons you know you've got that uh, 
animation sequence where you get one weapon and change over he said on Gears Judgment it's going to be like instantaneous there is no there's nothing it's just click it's instantaneous which I love that just going to be awesome I think I think they're really um bringing the game for competitive I know I don't know if everyone's going to like that in the community but this is Gears anyway our community at the moment is is really struggling especially the fact that we've you've just had Halo 4 drop which I must say is absolutely awesome I am going to be still playing Gears though um I'm going to be playing Halo 4 as well, there's no doubts about that, but I'm still going to be doing as much gears as I can, and if not, maybe a bit more as well, so so I still want to keep the gears going strong. Uh, but also, we've got Black Ops coming out, so our community, guys, is going to take a massive hit. Um, if it hasn't already, I know we was kind of struggling before getting ranked games certain times of the day on TDM and da da da. So I know the fact that now Halo's out and you've got, I think, uh, Call of Duty drops on the 13th or something. So when that drops as well, we are going to be, oh my lord, we, we're we going to have a big hit in numbers. But I just think the people who are going to be playing are just going to be the ones who are complete and utter gears heads, which... Which I kind of like as well, you know. I'm not the best of players, but I do love the game more than just any other game ever. So the fact that I do get to play against the people who are just there because they love the game and and they don't really want to play anything else, or they're they're still spending time playing Gears. Gears ain't dead. It's only dead if we all make it dead and no one plays it anymore. So I'm hoping that we don't get too much of a big hit with the numbers. Uh, Anyway, off topic there, just worrying about Gears of War 3 just completely dying in the next couple of weeks. But we'll be alright, we'll fight through that. Um, the other thing that Arctic talks about, which was like a huge thing for me and a kind of like a sigh of relief, was alternate controls. Because um, I use alternate controls on the, and on Gears 3, alternate controls, I just say to you guys, don't do it, it's, it is fundamentally flawed and, and quite broken on Gears 3 I'm not gonna lie I've been doing it for ages and I've, and I've said to you guys in the past about it but it is flawed and broken but he said in judgment alternate controls are like he said they basically they were awesome and he was like wow amazed at it so I'm gonna hang on to alternate I don't know if it's gonna make any difference really because obviously we're gonna have a new button layout anyway for now but I'm gonna stick with alternate for now and see if I can maybe crack it a bit better and get a bit better with it still I don't think I'm gonna though but I'm really looking forward to the fact that they might have sorted that out for judgment uh, that's gonna be like he was just saying that you haven't got because obviously when you're on alternate you have to balance into a wall but then you kind of have to pull yourself off more and then you've got to push roldy run again to get going he said all that that things just stopped it's not there anymore so that um, alternate controls yes I'm just I'm just hoping they work and I'm hoping they work for me as well I'm really looking forward to it just looking forward to it all really uh, what else did I put down um, yeah, he just said that it, the controls were less stickier as well. Um, yeah, man, and that was about it. But I will leave a link in the description to the video. Uh, and so, yeah, take, check it out because, because uh, yeah, that play test three or four days they all went on was just sounded like awesome sounded really brilliant so so yeah but yeah um halo 4 as well obviously that that's dropped i do have a copy i am playing it i haven't played too much i played a bit with uh, a full team of nova last night played with um loads of nova players and that was really good fun i'm pants at it um i haven't played much of any of the halo multiplayers really but it is my favorite first person shooter obviously um before everything i'm kind of a gears head but i do love halo 4 just the weapon the way they're all balanced a lot of the new weapons i mean there just seems to be a stack lot of weapons on that game um there's quite a few i just have picked up and just gone what what do i do with this one you know there's just this they've really pulled out all the stops on that game and your abilities and everything i'm just really enjoying it and the campaign oh the campaign i haven't quite finished it yet i think i might be on mission four or five but when I do start playing the campaign, I'm kind of like, I'm stuck there for a couple of hours not doing anything. It's just, it is just really amazingly good. I think uh, 
three four three really uh, pulled out the stops on Halo Four, and I think um, I think Call of Duty Black Ops Two or better be good. Otherwise, I think that game might might quite struggle. You know, I, just like the, the vehicles in. Halo 4, you're not really safe in a vehicle anymore with a lot of these guns, you know, whereas before you could get a scorpion and kind of run around and or drive around and unless someone had something beasty like a uh, rocket launcher, they weren't getting you out of it. This game, there's, you, you, this is not safe in anything, just the amount of guns and the power of them is just, it's just brilliant. So, I still haven't flown in a banshee yet, ghosts are really cool, they sound like little mopeds. So I'm being kind of liking them. I don't feel as safe in a ghost though on Halo 4 as I did in earlier Halos. So yeah, I'm going to bring some Halo gameplay stuff as well if I ever get a gameplay. It might just be a game because I'm really bad at it. But practice makes perfect so it just means that I've got to um, put some time aside and try and get a little bit better on it. And uh, try and concentrate what I'm doing really. A lot of the time I just I just seem to run in to my doom and fate. I need to start getting a bit more campy. Not really campy but you know holding down my area is what I like to call it. So yeah but Halo 4 is is just epic and if you haven't got it yet uh need to get it. The only thing with, with it was though you have to like install a disc. So when I went and bought it I had, I'll have to tell you the story of um my midnight release of Halo. Ooh got me. Um my midnight release of Halo because uh because it was a fun evening. Obviously I had to get back and install the other CD which is for the multiplayer. I didn't have room. Anyway, that's another story. Yo people, anyway, I hope you like the commentary and um, much love and, and peace. I'll see you all soon.